you're gonna need at least this much gravel. Yo, look at my little eel friend. You know, some crazy algae stuff starts happening, but it's just super chill. Oof. All right, day two of the Rescape Project at Corey's. He's modifying a sponge filter right now to oh, make everything shorty. fit. Yeah. Uh, this is the turtle tank. Let's zoom around here. I think I got it kind of better. I mean, this was a tough one to do just because of the shape of the rock and the wood and everything, but I don't know. I think it's, this one we'll get done with it and we'll come back to it if it really sucks. So moving on, we can swing over to this one. So we're gonna work on kind of, I don't know, everything at the same time. It's a lot, but we're gonna do some changing of substrate. So like we had a little issue with the cloudiness. Corey talks about it more in his video, so I won't hit you with it here, but I think on this one, we're gonna take the sand out because we think that's the source of the extra particulate. Like it's not being held down by a root system or anything. And there's, we have a loosely some evidence of that. So we're gonna try that. Um, but yeah, we're what we got one, two, three, four, five, five tanks done and like a million more to go. It's 74 in here, it shouldn't be on. It's cooking me. All right, we're calling an audible here, improvising, all right? Corey has this really, <laughs> I'm not gonna call it weird, but we don't know if it works, that's why it's weird, but it's a little sand waterfall thing, prefab obviously, I don't know. It's part of price of $120. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure it works great, we just don't know, but you know, a little sand waterfall thing, you guys know I like sand waterfalls, right? So if we have one that's already supposed to work instantaneously, why don't we try it? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna match it, and try and like fit the vibe of this tank down here because we both really like it. So the Suryu stone with the dark green babitis. Corey doesn't want to use babitis again, even though it's like six tanks ago. But uh, so I think we're gonna use Anubius Nana Nana Petite. We gotta see if this thing works no though. We're gonna have to hide so cord though. Yeah, 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 I mean, I don't know. Let's just get it in and see what happens. So I guess we're not gonna be using the sand waterfall. Um, cause it fell and broke it. Corey knocked it over. He sneezed and it, yeah, okay. and it fell off. Um, no, we can, we can fix this. We can fix this, dude. <laughs> oh Jeez. man. Now we're gonna see if it even works. And the goal originally was, uh, to have it surrounded with serious stone and have it look like we have a natural waterfall. And that might be super cool. And so we will see, is that super cool or not? And real shortly here, it says half the bag. We're using the whole bag. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Come on. I saw some particles. That's some weird sand. Is the pump plugged in? No. I felt it vibrating, so it's doing oh, something. Oh, it is plugged in. It's just stuck with air in it. Maybe. That yeah. is a thing that happens. So. Look at the sand floating. <laughs> it's the magical floating sand. We are doing this testing here. I'm gonna tell you right now, so far, don't spend 120 bucks on this thing. So far, <laughs> been just real disappointing. Floating sand to the fact where it's floating on top and uh, kind of nothing going on so far. Maybe I'll chime in if we get it working. So we got to bail on this because <laughs> of this classic problem. It's the same thing that all of these sand waterfalls have. They, I mean, they're super finicky, right? I mean, we did drop this, we did break it, so maybe that's partially why but yeah if we set this up I mean in a matter of this is bad like this would be 30 minutes an hour maybe probably even less than that it would just it would just start to fail so we're gonna bail on that and go back to the drawing board I'm letting Corey cook right now he's piecing together something yeah, that's wicked over here almost looks okay but kind of looks too out of place and I can't just backfill it we can fix it with plants maybe depending on the plant but this down here doesn't look right. It wouldn't be that way on a hillside. I don't know. I think Still it looks. I think it looks good, man. Still trying different little rocks to, because it's two pieces. Right. So I gotta. I don't have to, but I'm trying to, you know, follow this line like a root would grow in a mountainside, maybe. Okay. But I feel like there needs to be something. You need that right piece that's yeah. impossible to find. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. <laughs> so where's the impossible piece at?
I don't know what Corey's doing. He's around with a filter or something, but <laughs> let me show you what I was able to do. Kind of halfway, almost kind of good. So this tank, I know it looks crazy. You got to use your imagination. So the crypts are obviously going to melt down um, and they're going to get small and they're probably eventually hold, hold that thought going to look like not, not like that, like this. And I think that's gonna look really cool. This tank also needs a big water change. We're gonna do that. We have to actually have to go to the warehouse to pick out some more stuff. We need some Java Fern to work on this guy. But overall, I think everything's really precariously placed in here. So I told Corey that he just can't, like just leave this tank alone for a month. Don't bump anything. Everything will get waterlogged and hopefully it won't move around and he's not gonna be able to get fish out of this tank or, or anything out of it probably for at least a while. But I don't know. I think this is one where it just, it, it doesn't look fantastic right off the bat, but in like two, three months, especially, as long as it doesn't, you know, nothing crazy happens, I think it's gonna look super dope. But with that, you know, we just have one, two, Corey did this one and it looks awesome, three, kind of four. And then we're gonna be done with this wall. And that's kind of what I was like, oh yeah, we're almost done completely, but then we have the big turtle tank over there, the one that Corey's working on. I don't know if we're gonna get to all that, but we still do have like a whole nother day. Psych, we're going to the store. This is giving me vibes from like 2017. <laughs> Coming in the store at night to film stuff. Wow, look at all those chain swords. Hey Murph, can we borrow some um, grass? Can we borrow some of your grass, dude? He's not responding. Is that good or bad or? <laughs> Corey's gonna go do fish stuff. I don't. I don't really know what, but uh, I gotta stick my whole entire body into this tank to get the chain swords out. Kind of scared Murphy's gonna bite me. Uh, yeah. Corey, you're definitely not passing the one fish per gallon rule. Don't make me tell Trevor. <laughs> Uh, it's probably kind of dark in here, but we need some jungle val. This Corey didn't have enough at the store, so I guess you know where everything is, right? <laughs> oh, there it is. You guys see that? Yeah, I'm thinking we need at least two more. So one. Okay. Yeah, I get like I don't know a lot. Checkmate. Yeah, put some in there, dude. A mono shrimp going in. Shrimping. Yeah, were you pointing to this one? I could. We got a butler of them. Uh, oh, there's already. Got a ton of red shrimps. Yeah. I'm reviewing. That's up to you. I feel like yeah, why not? It can't can't hurt. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of wood decomposition going on in there, so. You always grab some more and need some more at some point. Okay. Where'd they go? Oh, find it. Big it. Algae heat seeking missiles. Yeah, so it's super late. Uh, Corey's gonna put shrimp in some more tanks and then we're gonna go to bed. So we'll see you tomorrow. We're back, day seven. Let's check on my tank. Hey, nothing is floated up. Beautiful. We gotta do this one, this one. Corey, your tank is beautiful. I love this guy. And this one, and kind of this one. So, disregard the floor. That's not the important part of this whole thing. You got people coming to clean this all up for us when we're done, right? Oh yeah, of course. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and we gotta put the chain swords in that one, so. And we got a bunch of stuff to make today go as easy as possible. I think we're just gonna float through it. That's the intention at least. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen or not. But Corey did put a bunch of shrimp in some tanks, a couple fish. I think we have all the livestock for everything, but um, I'm sure we'll get to a point where it's like, we forgot about this, we forgot about that. 
let's just get going because this is kind of our last day, I think. Is this my diet Dr. Pepper? I don't know, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna drink it anyway. So this tank, it looks a little um, bright, and that's probably because the light's up all the way, but we'll change that. A lot of it has to do kind of with the colorations here, like the chicken bone stone and the rocks are kind of the same color. They all, you know, they reflect a lot of light, so it's bright in here, but also the chain swords, you know, they're not the darkest green of plant. So to contrast that with all of this like wide leaf dwarf sages in here, that might have been a, actually a better pairing for that tank. I think if Corey had like a fertilizer or something, maybe he should make one that he could add to this. Um, it would really green it up. So I'll recommend that he do that. He could also put some root tabs in here as well. You know, it's just kind of like, it's hard to say, like if there's a bunch of fish waste and it's accumulating under here for months and months and months, it's gonna be basically a nutrient substrate, right? But that takes a long time and we definitely don't want these plants to just like die because they're not getting enough nutrients. But I think ultimately what I'm trying to say is that this could be a little bit darker green and as it matures, it could probably look the way we want it to. At least that's what we hope for and that's what I'm crossing my fingers for. But anyway, enough of that. This tank is the one that you just saw me put some wood in and I had to, like I had an idea of the wood being more like high up here and sort of fanning out, but just how big the pieces were and how much room I have to work with and the fact that there's a canopy, you know, there's a glass top on here. It limited me on the positioning of it, but I think this was just supposed to be one that was like really simple. And so that's what I did. I just put the two pieces in, took those big clumps of abitus and just kind of dressed it up a little bit. Like it would be nice. I might zoom around the room and look for some other pieces that are small that maybe I could put down here in this corner and that might make it look just like perfect. So that's kind of what I'm doing, but this, you know, we got it done. So we move over and now we just have these two to kind of round out. I think this one, we're just gonna dump a little bit of the same substrate in it. Not a different substrate, Corey, okay? The same substrate, I promise. Corey doesn't like to mix substrates for some reason. I don't know, I think he's kinda crazy. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> we're almost done. This one's gonna be cool. Um, dang it, Corey, I forgot about this one. I forgot about it. Yeah, I gotta move them over, but then we're doing we're doing Dragonstone in that one. Yeah. Okay, all right. What what? What are you doing? Get back to work. I'm cleaning a sponge, clean poop. <laughs> now what is going on over here? Your sponge filter thing's haunted. I don't know what's going on. It's it's outlawed in seven different countries actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's got three confirmed kills. <laughs> this is the fish keeper version of a manicure, am I right? Well you know what I'm talking about. Look at, look at those exfoliated hands. Ah, it's also a workout too. Let's just get a... Uh, it's the mud spa day. What's the, uh, the TRX? Get rid of the TRX, just get a bucket full of gravel over there, man. There you go. Ah. Gotta churn it. So sometimes you don't wash the gravel good enough and this happens. It's not that big of a deal. Don't laugh at me, Corey. Corey's doing his little siphon trick. He's got a cool, uh, I think this is actually more interesting, dude, is that you have the little, he's got a PVC pipe there so you can just drain down there. Like I was over here draining it into the bucket like a, <laughs> like a dip, but Corey has a much better way of doing it, I guess. Yeah, you just build a, a drain spot every two tanks so you never have to lug buckets around. Yeah. And we just gotta make sure we don't suck up fish. And then all you have to do is get on your phone and press a button and then it'll start filling back up. Oh, so. but yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fine, because I think we need, we probably need to do a water change on another one down here, probably. Yeah. That guy in particular, but cool. Okay. So this isn't the end of the world. I didn't totally... Uh, not yet, no. No, not until you see how much substrate I put in here. Oh, no. <laughs> This tank is really cloudy right now. Hopefully we'll get another three turnovers in it and it'll be nice and clean looking, but 
We got this moving around. The carpet was really jam-packed and up in the front, so I had to get in there and spread it out, clip things, move it. That's part of why it's still so discolored. Not just the fact that we didn't wash the gravel good enough, but we're recovering from that. The fish seem to be doing okay. We got a bunch of the Anubius Nana in the right places. I think I'm gonna leave these two little holes because, I don't know, they just look cool like caves. That leaves us with Vesuvius Mountain to do, and then one more tank right here, which I think we're gonna do some Dragonstone in. And then we are almost complete. We are almost done. Not sure exactly what Corey's doing over here. Actually, psych, I know exactly what he's doing. Looks like he got the substrate in the back of there. Yep. Jungle Val tank, big Jungle Val, heavy Jungle Val. This stuff's gonna be a little bit too small. We're gonna have to wait on this one. You're gonna have to yeah, be a, a little, in the rough for sure. little patient to get the look you want, but I think that, you know, with the fish that you picked, that we're keeping to ourselves for now, yeah, because... Fine, it's gonna take <laughs> Yeah, hopefully not that long, but no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, so other than that, I mean, we're not doing anything over here on this side of the room, thank goodness, obviously a lot to clean up. But other than that, we are on the home stretch and we're feel, I'm feeling really good about it. Not a lot of B-roll for this one, just cause it's a little cloudy, but didn't have as much Dragonstone as I wanted. Went for the middle, kind of just a mountainscape, pretty basic. You have to use your imagination though with this one because the Crypt Lutea, I mean, it's immersed. It's gonna die back and look very different, much more like an actual carpet plant. And hopefully we'll get that out of it. But I know like right now, it just, it kind of looks a little crazy. Corey's gonna throw a, another light on it. We decided that the 40 breeders just look better with two lights. Like, I mean, that's the, yeah. And I mean, that's kind of always been the drawback of the 40 breeder. If you want to use one light, you totally can. It just helps so much to get it up higher so you can get the light distribution that you want. Like that looks infinitely better than this, right? So that's just a cost of doing business. But other than that, I mean, we, I think we pretty much got it. Like Corey did his work over here on this one. We decided to leave the hardscape pretty much the same. He just threw in a bunch of the, what's it called? Vesuvius, Vesuvius, Mount Vesuvius. Uh, I might come in here and tweak a couple rocks because I got in here earlier, moved some things around and then didn't really, uh, didn't really round it out. But other than that, uh, wow, it's been, I want to say it's been a long weekend, but it's gone by. It's gone by really fast, dude. A lot the room. Like it's, it always seems like it's been a long time at the end of the day, right? Because we're super burned out. But all in all, it feels like I kind of just got here yesterday. It's been a lot of fun. It's been take five, Corey. It's been a really fun weekend, man. Thanks for having me over and letting me be a part of this. It's been a while since I've scaped. It's been a super long time since I've scaped this many tanks for sure, but definitely, definitely helped get me back into the swing of things. I think the last bit of work that we need to do is just go through and double check everything, maybe do a little bit of algae picking, put some stuff away, of course. There's a ton of stuff behind me that I'm not gonna show you, but we'll get to all of that and then we'll do a wrap on all of the tanks. Pikachu. Pika I gotta take that home to my wife. All right. She can't know about you having that. Why not? <laughs> I didn't know there was a Pikachu in there. Sick. 